Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to talk to you briefly about bringing in animated background footage into OBS to use as your background. So the most important thing in order to do this is to get a good animated and loopable background for your OBS recording. So you can grab a good stock clip off of sites like video.pexels, which should have a license allowing you to actually use it for videos and recordings. So for instance, I've uh, grabbed this one here that has a really cool wavy pattern in the background. And I believe that if you added this to your background, it's subtle enough that you can use it. Also, by the time it gets to the end, the beginning is going to look just like the ending, so it is a loopable file for the most part. And if we go towards the end, it basically looks the same at the beginning, so this is going to be a good candidate for a loopable file. So when you have a source picked out, you're really going to have two ways of adding it into your scene. So under sources, you can right click, go to add, and then choose a media source in order to select it. So I'm going to rename this a background video one, and then we need to locate the file on the computer. So we can see that it's on the desktop right now. So I'm going to hit browse, going to desktop, and then clicking on the video that we want to use in the background. So we open that up and there'll be a few options here. We have this selected and we can hit OK to make sure that it actually pops into the scene viewer. Now we can see that when we loaded it in, it looks way too large for this screen. We can see with the stripes on the right side and the bottom that it's actually going over the edges. And we can shrink it down by selecting the video source and clicking on this red square on the corner and bringing it inwards. And we can also see another problem there that the video just kind of disappeared on us. So if we double click on the source, there's a setting for that. We want loop to be checked. I was planning on mentioning that in a second, but now it's relevant. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now it's going to loop through those 30 seconds indefinitely as long as the source is opened. But uh, let's continue by left click, holding and dragging this source over to the top left again. So it's closer to being full screen properly, but not quite there yet. So I'm going to left click on the square in the corner and drag it over there. Now I'm left clicking and holding and dragging it to snap in the top left again. We can take the bottom right hand corner now, left click hold and drag it to snap into the bottom right hand corner. So now the background video clip is properly centered on our screen. Let's double click and check the settings. So I'm also going to check use hardware decoding when available. It's possible that the playback performance will be better if you're using your hardware rather than the software decoding. For close file when inactive, what this basically means is that when the source isn't showing on screen, OBS isn't going to have it open and you're able to change it in the background um, to a different file. Otherwise, while you're streaming and recording, you wouldn't be able to actually change it. So you may want this checked. And let's go ahead and hit OK. If you wanted the playback speed to be at a different rate than what's showing, you could change the speed to something like 50% here. And then when we hit OK, that would make the playback at half speed, of course. But generally, you'll just leave that at a full 100%. So another thing to note here is that you're going to want your background video to be the bottom source. So if I add another source like this image into the sources box, and then we take this source and put it below the background video, then your background video may end up actually covering uh, anything below it, especially if your background video is going to be full screen like this. So generally speaking, you'll want the background video to be at the bottom of the sources. Um, let's go ahead and adjust the size of this image. And you can see that the background video is still there. Just imagine like this image, you were replacing that with a webcam instead. So if you were looking closely, you might have seen that I actually just added this source by dragging it straight into OBS. So you can actually do the same thing with background sources as well. So if I hide this background source and then I just drag the background video straight into OBS, you get the same result. It automatically adds in the source of the correct type and you just need to adjust the size and positioning just like before. So I'm going to expand this to the bottom right hand corner and put it as the background source by lowering its position in the list of sources. So that's basically it for how you can add in a background video to OBS to use as a source while you're streaming or recording videos. Once again, if you're curious about the site, I grabbed this particular clip off of its video.pexels.com, which is a really great source if you're looking for some stock materials to use in your content. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.